Welcome! Let's take some time to get introduced to the incredibly useful configuration API that Drupal provides. We will leverage configuration to power the RSVP settings form for the site administrators. The configuration API provides a unified approach for modules to store configuration data. Configuration data is data that stays consistent between the site environments, for instance, the development, testing, UAT, and production environments. Configuration can be simple information, like your automated cron settings, site settings, such as site name, or it can be more complex information, such as the blocks, content types, and views of your site, which are managed with configuration entities. With Drupal, the configuration that is currently in use for a site is known as the active configuration, and it consists of multiple storage sources. The default storage is the database but the active configuration itself is configurable. You can store configuration in a particular directory, in other storage backends, and in the database, of course. One benefit of the configuration API is that rather than being concerned about the details of where and how configuration is stored, we as developers have access to all of the active configuration. So the code to interact with configuration does not need to change depending on whether the configuration is stored in the database, or in a file in some directory. The actual implementation of using configuration is abstracted, similar in concept to Drupal's database API abstraction. Configuration is divided into individual objects, each of which has a unique name or key. Some modules will have only one configuration object. Typically, it's called mymodule.settings. Some modules will have many configuration objects. The RSVP list module we are creating will have one configuration object called RSVP list.settings. Within a configuration object, configuration settings themselves have data types, such as integer, string, boolean, etc. These settings can also exist in a nested hierarchy known as a mapping. Note that for maximum flexibility, Drupal configuration can also be overridden on a global per site, per language, or per module basis. Sweet! When importing or exporting Drupal configuration, the file storage format is YAML. Configuration is divided into files, with each file containing one configuration object. The file name for a configuration object is equal to the unique name of the configuration, ending with the .yml extension. So, for example, the configuration file for the RSVP list module we will create soon is called RSVP list.settings.yaml. Any default configuration files for each module are placed in its config install directory. Here is a quick overview of these points. This is a demonstration of the process to export configuration. Try to notice the various types of configuration from the drop down and then with the simple configuration, notice the names of the configuration object, the file names for those config objects, and the keys and values of the displayed configuration object. It is important to be mindful of the difference between configuration and state variables. As a rule of thumb, configuration is a place to store information that you want to synchronize from development all the way through to production. Configuration information is often created during site building and is not typically generated by regular users during normal site operation. State variables, in contrast, should use the state API for storing local variables that should not travel between instances. Use state for hidden system values and for data you never want to deploy between environments. To help identify which is which, remember, you can reset a system losing all state, but its configuration remains. Fantastic! Great work in understanding the broad implications of Drupal's configuration API. We learned that configuration is data that stays consistent between the site environments. 
the active configuration is the configuration currently in use for a site. Configuration can be stored in the database, in local files, or in some other backend, but the code to interact with configuration remains the same thanks to the configuration API. The file format of site configuration is YAML. Each configuration file contains one configuration object. This is helpful for exporting and importing site configuration. Again, nice effort in learning even more about the power that Drupal provides. Be sure to take time to understand the resources provided for deeper knowledge. Happy learning.